guys, welcome to my art channel. Thanks for stopping by to make some art with me. Um, for more free art lessons, you could press the button below and subscribe right there on that red button. And I will see you really soon. Now let's get to making some art. Bye bye. Hi guys, welcome to Mixed Media. Today we are going to be doing some paper weaving and we're also going to be doing a crayon or crepaw resist technique. You will need a piece of cardstock in, uh, or construction paper in a nice color, a piece of mixed media paper, a ruler, a pencil, paintbrush and water, your watercolor paints if you have them, and oil pastels. Let's get started. We are going to first make the strips, or what we would call the weft, for the weaving. And we're going to do that by first taking our oil pastels and making some patterns on the paper in different colors. I'm just going to choose any color. I'll start with blue and I'm going to make some interesting patterns and I'm not really going to color anything in. I'm just going to make some patterns with different colors because we're going to go over it with paint. And I'm making zigzag lines and straight horizontal lines and I'm going to make maybe some circles and I'm doing all this in different colors like so and maybe I'll do some dashed lines and some dots And then all the colors that I used, I'm going to go in and fill some more of the space with. And I'm not going to spend too much time coloring in because what's going to happen with this paper is we're going to be cutting it into strips. So if I make, spend too much time doing any designs, they're really going to get cut up and you're not going to see them. So really going to try and do this quickly and just get many different colors happening in there. And you can even paint a uh, color with your crepe, your white crepe pot on this. Even though you won't see it here, you will see it when you put the paint over it. Okay, so I've filled my paper with some different lines and patterns with crepas. Now crepas are, are also called oil pastel and because they're made with an oily substance, they resist water. So when you use watercolors on them, the watercolor is going to kind of spread out off of all of your color and just go into the white spaces. So it's important that you use watercolor paints. So I'm going to take a black watercolor and I'm going to paint over this whole design that I just did. I'm 
going to just grab my little scrap board there so I don't make too much of a mess on my desk. And I'm going to show you, I am painting right over everything. And I have also did some lines in white. And you will now start to see the white popping out. And it's a very interesting technique called, you can also do this with crayons because the wax will resist the water and the water will kind of just beat off of it. And it gives a really pretty and interesting look to it. Almost as if you were to batik on fabric. So when you batik on fabric, you draw with hot wax on fabric and then you dye the fabric and then you iron it, you iron the wax that you drew with and that melts it off and you end up with a design with pretty colors. So it's the same type of idea. So you can see even more now how it's popping out and the white is just popping out that we couldn't, we couldn't really see before. And it'll just be really interesting when we do our whole paper weaving. So once I'm done with this, we're going to need to let it dry for a good 20 minutes before we cut it. I have finished painting over my entire paper and isn't that neat looking? It makes the colors, when you paint over it with the black watercolor, it makes the crepe pods just look so vibrant, almost like they're neon lights. So I'm going to let that dry because I just drip paint all over my desk. And when I come back, we'll start to make our weaving. I'll be right back. With your dry paper, you're going to need your scissors. And I cheated a little. I put this under the hair dryer to make it go quicker. We are going to cut our paper into strips. And these strips are about one inch wide. So the way to do that is to take our ruler, put it on our paper, and we're going to make a dot at every inch because we need these to be about one inch each. And then I'm going to make a line up the paper for each strip like this. paper and I already have strips cut so after I do all my lines I'm going to start cutting the strips out just like so And then I will have my, my warp strips. These are considered the warp. And we can put together our loom. So to make our loom, we're going to take that construction paper or colored cardstock and fold it in half. And I want you to take your ruler and I want you to put it at the edge of your paper, like so, and draw a line all the way across. And do this with pencil. I'm doing this with marker so you can see it. Once you've done this line, 
you're going to take your ruler and you're going to start at the edge here and you're going to draw from the line that you just drew to the fold right down to the end. Like so. It almost looks like a piano. So now what you're going to do Make sure that you drew this line on the open end because you're going to be cutting on the folded end. And I'm just going to cut these lines, these vertical lines, down to this horizontal line. And I'll stop at that line. So just like that. And I'm going to cut each one. I'm going to be careful as possible to stay on those lines. Like that. And now I'm going to open it up and I have created my loom. So I'm just going to try and fold these back in the other direction a little bit. And I'm going to turn it over to the side that I didn't draw on. And we're ready to start weaving. So you're going to take your first piece of paper. And the way to weave is what you go under one, the first paper, you go over the second paper. Then you go under and over, and you're going to do this all the way down. So over and under, and go over this paper, under this paper, and I have weaved my first line here. So it will look like that. You will see every other one is going to have no, no design on it. It's just going to be that plain green. Now, for the next row, if I started this row and my first strip of paper went under the green, I have to go over the green. I have to start over. I have to do the opposite. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to go over this first one and under the second one. I'm going to go over the next one. I have to pick this up and go under. I'm going to go over, under, over, and under. So I did the exact opposite of my first line. So it will look like this. Now for my third line, I'm going to do exactly what I did on the first row. I started underneath the first one, so I'm going to start underneath the first one, over the second one, underneath the third one, over the fourth one, underneath the next, over, under, and over. And that's exactly what I did in the first row and exactly opposite to the row before it. So for the next one, if I started this one underneath the first strip, this is going to start on top. The next row will start on top. And I'll go on top of the first one, which is this one, underneath the second one, over the next one, under, over, under, over, 
pin under the last one. And then I'm just pushing all my strips down as far as they can go, like so. And I'm going to continue. So this one started over, so this one has to start underneath the first one and over the second one. And I'm going to make sure to push it down as far as I can. And I'm ready. So this one started under. This one has to start over this first row here, this first strip. Second one. Under, over, under, over. It's getting a little tight there. Under, over. And we're going to push it down like so. And I think I have room for about one more strip. And that strip is going to start, if this started over, it's going to start underneath. So I'm going to go under and over, under and over. Under this one, over this one, and under this one, and over the last one. I'm going to push all my strips together, and I'm going to trim anything that's sticking off the sides. So I have my weave done, and now I'm going to add to my design by taking my crepe paws again, and on the green, I used green, you might have used a different color, but on all the green blank spaces, I'm going to do a geometrical shape, a geometric shape. So. Here I have triangles. I also did some straight lines. I did some um, shapes over here that were X's and I only filled in part of them. You could do zigzag lines. So do a geometric shape and some basic lines. And in each one of the green squares, that's what I'm gonna do. However, I'm going to do it in a way that it's a pattern. So if I do, say, a rectangle, I'm going to do a rectangle in all these boxes. And maybe the next row, I will do a triangle in all the boxes. And then see the next row, I'm just going to do some horizontal lines in all the boxes. But I want it to be a pattern. So I'm going to use these rectangles again over here. And I'm going to put them in all these boxes. And then I'm going to go back to the triangles. and put them in these boxes and then I'm going to use these horizontal lines because basically a pattern is lines or shapes that are repeating themselves and they're making a design and now I'm going to end back at my little rectangles here like so now I drew this in with marker. I would suggest not using marker. You can use marker, um, but you can use your crepas to get some nice vibrant colors. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to go back and color them in.
And this is going to just really add so much beautiful color to your weaving. And you don't really need a lot, just a geometric shape or um, a line and a little bit of color and it really makes a huge difference and adds a lot to the full, to complete design. And let's see if I can get some yellow in here. And this is my um, finished pattern part. And the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add some fringe. To make the fringe, I just took um, these strips, an extra strip, and I just cut fringe into it. And to cut fringe into it, you're going to cut, I'm gonna draw it, you don't have to draw it, you can do it by eye, but I want you to be able to see it. You're gonna cut what are called vertical lines up and down but you're only gonna to cut to this horizontal line that goes side to side. You wanna leave a little bit um, of paper intact, and then to cut fringe, you're just gonna go along the entire strip and make snips right up to that black horizontal line up here. You're gonna go down your entire, across your entire strip. Then, once your strip looks like that, you're just gonna bend the papers a little bit so they stick up, go kind of away from each other, and you can see that it's fringed. just take a glue stick. I could put a line of glue right down the bottom there, right across the bottom of the paper. Glue my fringe onto it. Like so. And I'm just going to trim the excess. And here I have my fringe on the bottom. I'm going to do the exact same thing for the top. I'll draw a line again so you can see. So I drew a line and I'm only going to cut up to that line and I'm going to snip right across my entire strip of paper. those little fringes again. Like that. And I'm ready to glue the bottom of my paper. fringe. And here you have it, this really beautiful and colorful paper weaving. 
I hope you enjoyed making this and I will see you again really soon. Bye bye.